Hey guys, what's going on today? I'll be going over sort colors, also known as the Dutch partitioning problem. And in this problem, you're given an array of nums with their integers 0, 1, and 2, and you're supposed to sort those nums such that all the zeros comes first, and the ones, and then the twos. And this question is pretty trivial if you just allocate a hash table and keep track of how many zeros, ones, and twos you have, and then reconstruct the array afterwards. But we have this follow-up question here, asking, could you come up with a one-pass algorithm using only O of one constant space? So the naive solution would be to loop through every element and find the min number in the array, and then move that min number to the front, and then you shrink that array that you're looking at, and then you find the next smallest number, and then move that to the front. But that's a very inefficient solution, and it produces an O of n to the power of 2 runtime, and it's basically just a very naive selection sort. So what we want to be doing instead is using the greedy two-pointer algorithm. And in this algorithm, you have two pointers, or rather two partitions, whichever you want to call it. And it starts, the left partition starts at the beginning of the array, and the right partition starts at the very end of the array. And you're going to loop through the array, and if it's a 2, we want to move that 2 to the right of the right partition. And if it's a 0, we want to move that 0 to the left of the left partition. So then all the elements to the left of the left partition would be zeros, and all the elements to the right of the right partition would be 2s. And if it's a 1, then it just stays. So what we want to be doing is looping through and swapping these numbers as we see fit and it will make sense once I go through. So we first start off with this first element which is 2 and since it's a 2 we know it has to go to the right partition so what we want to do is we want to swap the 2 with the 0 here and then move our right partition inwards. So our right partition is going to keep shifting towards the left hand side and our left partition is going to shift to the right hand side. And you'll see what I mean going on here. So after that swap, this is what we have. Our right partition moves inwards. And now we're looking at zero because that's the number we just swapped with. So we have to examine it again. And since it's a zero, then we want to move it to the left partition. So that's what we do. And we have another zero. So we do the same exact thing. We move it, the left partition is over here now and now we examine 2 and we know we want to move 2 to the end and shift our right partition left and this is what we have here and now we examine our 1 and since it's a 1 then we don't do anything we don't have to swap or anything we can just go on to the next number which is what we do here and we eventually get to this point where the current element you're examining is to the right of the right partition. And if that's the case, we have finished our algorithm and we can return the array. So this is just a very simple Python code for this algorithm. We have left, I, and right. Left stands for left partition, right partition, and then the I stands for the current index. So we're going to loop as long as I is less than or equal to right. And if the current element you're looking at is equal to zero, then we swap with the left partition index and we increment left and i. So we shift our left partition to the right and we also increment i because we're looking at the next element. And in the event that it's equal to one, all we have to do is just increment i, just move on to the next element. And else, so this else clause is for if num uh, sub i is equal to 2. And if it is, then you swap with the right partition element. And we are going to move the partition to the left by one element. And the complexity of this algorithm is O of n runtime, because you're just looping through the array once, and space complexity is actually O of 1. So why is it O of 1? It's O of 1 because we're modifying everything in place and we are not allocating any new arrays, any new data structures or at all, except 
for our pointers, which is just constant. And that's pretty much it, guys. If this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing.